vivere l'emozione. This is a, an expression that we would use in Italy to describe the feeling of uh, riding a Pershing. It's a special feeling. It's a moment where you know that you're living a magical thing that is possible because there are many elements that are coming together at the same time. In the case of a Pershing yacht, you have to have the hull design and construction. It's a class A yacht able to withstand uh, open ocean, eight force wind, 12 foot seas, so it's a solid bodybuilder, but uh, agile as a cheetah because you have the engine performance, the other element that makes that emozione possible, 4,170 horsepower, 32 cylinder combined, and then you have the drive system, which is uh, the CRX surface drive system, which allows you a performance that is not possible without. And then you have uh, a luxury product, inside out, in the line, in the finishing, uh, in the way that it was designed and allow the, the lucky owner and the 12 passengers to enjoy spaces. So all of these elements together allow you to have that emozione of driving, emozione of being seen, emozione of showing off, emozione of living uh, a beautiful moment because this vessel can go in 82 feet, 140,000 pounds that can fly at 46 knots. So just imagine what it takes. And uh, here in the Persian, you are able to leave that. The prelude of the thrill that is waiting for you upstairs on the upper helm, it's given by this ladder in carbon fiber that is telling you that there is something special waiting for you on the sun deck. We are on the sun deck. Not really a flybridge, as big as a flybridge, but basically it gives you the same pleasure. You are on a higher level of the vessel, the tallest place you can be, and you have uh, a beautiful sun pad, comfortable shade uh, with this sail and the carbon fiber pulling that are connecting to all the design elements of the vessel, two convertible launch chairs that in this position that you see right now are facing forward for your passenger, but they can be turned around and they become launch chairs so that this becomes a very entertaining location of, of the boat and totally private. Here on the sun deck is also very easy to show you how the navigation instrument that uh, Vixen has. And here you have the radar and you know, there are satellite GPS uh, receiver, satellite TV. I have uh, also a spotlight and a flare night vision camera. This is very important for the privacy because you can close this hatch, you can raise the ladder, the carbon fiber ladder, and you can have total privacy here. Nobody can see you, nobody can surprise you. Or you leave the ladder down, the hatch open, and the whole boat is connected. I was a little bit nervous this morning because the weather forecast were of rough seas and high winds. In reality, it was totally opposite. We had the perfect condition and we were able, with Captain Justice and my wife Shirley, to enjoy the performance of this vessel. And today we're able to go out of the uh, inlet of Fort Lauderdale and uh, we reach almost Miami, south of Hollywood. It's very unique because you have a size uh, that might be smaller than other vessel, but you are so much faster than them. And then maybe there is somebody that is a little bit faster than you, but they are small and uncomfortable. So here you have the best package, performance, agility, statement. Fortunately, I have a master license, captain license. And uh, today I took the opportunity, though, to go to uh, an experience that I didn't have before, honestly, which was uh, driving a Pershing. I'll show you what it is to ride a Pershing. And uh, it's not this, but it's this, standing up like Napoleon, because that's who you are in the moment that you are riding a Pershing and driving it. And then maybe when nobody sees you can relax and sit down and enjoy the ride in, more, in a more comfortable position. We're going to raise now the carbon fiber Besenzoni ladder because we're going to focus on the aft deck, which is basically the place where you're going to spend most of your time when you are enjoying this vessel. Number one is a natural transition to go out from the salon. But then is also because here there is the action. And the action in a Pershing is that rooster tail that goes up 30 feet uh, given by the surface drive propeller. Something that uh, any guest that you have here will come here 
to see because it's such a show of power. When you are safely at anchor, you can enjoy, of course, this sun pad. Six people can lay down in suntan and it combines, of course, with this beautiful sofa and uh, the dinette table. With regards to refreshment, food and, uh, and beverages, here you have a griddle with a sink. You have an ice maker. You have access to the crew quarter via this hatch. And these allow the crew during the night to enjoy their free time going in and out of the vessel without having to go through the salon. We are now opening up the Lazaret hatch, which is uh, integrated into the stern deck. This is more than a swim platform than go up and down. This is uh, a deck that you can enjoy by deploying the concealed William jet tender that is not here at the moment and uh, the jet ski and also relax while you're coming in and out of the water from that nice and beautiful uh, swim ladder that's on the port side of uh, the deck and so this big uh, lazarette hatch can also serve as uh, a big umbrella in which uh, you are transitioning from the water back into the vessel. Every area of this Pershing 82 gives you an opportunity to believe uh, in its own identity. Here, for example, on the forward deck, it can be a sexy sun lounge or it can be a family breakfast table. Anchoring is a very important moment in boating. It can be a very delicate moment where things can go wrong quickly in a sandbar or you can just set the anchor and have a beautiful peace of mind and enjoy the day. For the owner operator or for the owner that has only one captain, no mate, a very convenient feature of this yacht added by the owner is the yacht controller. So if I am an owner operator, I can deploy the anchor by myself. I can use the thruster, the bow stern thruster to direct the vessel. And, and so I have total control from here. I know that uh, I have shown you a little bit of the aft deck, but I didn't show you the most important feature. This aft deck can become so much more than just uh, an outdoor area. By simple three action, the two side doors and the glass wall panel lowered, you now have a convertible space that integrates into the salon. And in a day like this, October in Miami, where I'm wearing a jacket, impossible during the summertime. Uh, you can enjoy no air conditioning and an open space, and if you are in colder weather, probably more time than us down here. Everything that I show you so far is what excites an owner operator, selfish ego guy that wants to drive the boat. But now we are in a family time. The most comfortable place of the salon without having to stay outside if you want to have the comfort of this enclosed area is definitely the couch. You have a fantastic view and uh, it's extremely comfortable. Normally on a boat you have a high-low TV. In this case you have high-low TVs because once that uh, it's raised there are two screens. One for people who are sitting on the aft deck and another one for the people enjoying the couch. One of the reasons in terms of design of why this space is so open, clean and free flowing is because the galley has been confined to the crew quarter on the lower deck. Nevertheless, in a convenient spot, the transitional space between inside and outside, you have a beverage cooler to port side and to starboard side in the cabinet, you have uh, a wine, champagne cooler and an ice maker. Before we continue forward, I want to show you the crew quarter, the galley and the engine room that is accessible via the staircase. A very important uh, design uh, decision for this layout of this Persian was to put the galley down forward to the engine room. But here you have everything that you need to prepare entertainment for the guests. Vertical refrigerator with freezer. You have a mess where the crew can uh, hang out and uh, relax. And also you have three bunks bed, one for the captain and one for two crew members and of course you have a shared bathroom. And now we're gonna show you what made all of this possible. The feeling, the emozione, the, the design, the ride, the engine room. There is a lot of engineering and technology here, but um, the main components, of course, the twin MTU engines, 2,435 horsepower each, twin Kohler 23KW generator, Twin Schiller system uh, in this particular vessel have the tropical package, which means that you have two compressors, each chiller, to make sure that in the Miami subtropical heat, uh, everything is cool. You have a water maker and um, 
and I can go on and on and on. This lower control station can be intimidated at first because it's full of instruments and uh, because of the special drive techniques that you have to have in the Pershing. Now, in the upper dashboard, you have the multifunction display system for the regular GPS, uh, navigation, uh, depth finder, the autopilot. And then in the lower dashboard, you have uh, the engine's control that will give you the information about the 2MTU monster that you have in the engine room. This is between steering wheel and uh, flaps and trims, you have uh, the manual control of uh, this uh, performance yet. If you want to have it easy and you want to have the computer do everything by yourself, then you go into the ACS system, you press a button and uh, the computer will do it for you. Then the ultimate of the pleasure when driving a Pershing is uh, to sit on this wonderful poltrona frau leather pilot seat. At my left hand, you have the tiller joystick control. This is basically a steering wheel so that you can control the lateral movement of the vessel in a quick, responsive way. Conveniently located to the starboard side of the helm is the main breaker panel where you can start the generators and you connect to shore power or vice versa. Just a few steps down from the electric panel, we have the lower deck and the accommodation area. To Amit's ship, we have the owner's cabin, full beam, and uh, forward to port side, we have a twin cabin and then a VIP. The 82 Pershing comes with two different configurations with regards to accommodation, a four cabin layout and a three cabin layout. That gives you the space of this media room where the owners have installed a wonderful Bang & Olufsen sound and visual system. We have a flooring that is very unique, very nice, very eye-catching, very pleasant, heavy duty. Now, after the Bang & Olufsen TV of the media room, at Ami ship to port side, we have the owner's cabin. First of all, you have the enjoyment of touching a leather cover handle rather than the cold steel or chrome, you have leather. And then you have this vault, uh, high ceiling illuminated that welcomes you into this dream location. The design of this master, it's definitely different in the simplicity of the solution. It's not a regular king size bed forward in the middle of the cabin. This is offset and it gives you many advantages in terms of design. First of all, large whole side windows. They are giving you these lights that is coming from everywhere, natural light. You have cabinetry everywhere and then this bed that is high for a reason, there are cabinets that you can open and store everything that you need. There is a, a walk-in closet always with the leather touch in the handle that you can have with a nice safe. Cabinetry again. Another very innovative and simple design solution is this frosted glass that divides the bathroom because it gives you light even when it's closed and gives you privacy or maybe a little bit of curiosity because you can see a silhouette but without seeing too much. This little chair that I have here, which is also storage, I can sit here and have a conversation rather than always being in the bed. And then I can also use it or she can also use it uh, to uh, do makeup while I take all my time for the shower or I can use this one as a little office desk. Simple things that are making this room much bigger than what it is in terms of living opportunity. Now that I show you where you sleep, let me show you where your kids and guests would sleep. Follow me. The good thing about this uh, cabin is that it has twin beds not an over-under bunk, so they are not going to fight for who wants to stay up or who wants to stay down. They are on the same level. Every cabin on board has its own natural light, a lot of storage, and also an ensuite bathroom. The ensuite bathroom of this cabin also is your day head for your guests because it has an access, independent access. And now the last stop, the VIP forward. Here now on the VIP forward, which is particularly large on a Pershing because the design of this hall, it's made in a way that uh, this forward end of the hall, it's wider than what it would be in a conventional design. You have a lot of room and besides a nice queen size bed, you have a lot of storage. And finally, I really like the ensuite here. It was a very long day today. We started at 5.30 in the morning and the uh, captain, crew, everybody was really under the test. 
but it was really enjoyable, a beautiful day. Thank you very much for following us uh, through this journey. I hope you enjoy and we were able to explain the vessel and uh, on behalf of uh, Dennis Sonyari and myself, uh, thank you again and if you would like to have a personal showing, do not hesitate to call me.